Welcome Brainers! In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone to a Windows PC and then perform a factory data reset on the iPhone. Finally, I'll demonstrate how to restore the iPhone back to its previous state without losing any apps or data using the same backup that we take. With no further ado, let's jump right into it. Step 1. Backup iPhone to PC. Please open Microsoft Store. Search and install iTunes. Once installed, please open it. You should now connect the iPhone and your computer with a lightning cable. Recent iPhones are shipped with lightning cable that has a Type-C USB port. Please double check that you have a Type-C port on your computer. If you don't have one, then you might need to buy a lightning cable with a normal USB port. Alternatively, you can also get an adapter. With one of these options, please connect the iPhone to your PC. You may see a prompt on your iPhone asking you to trust this computer. Tap Trust to allow the connection. It may ask for the passcode, please enter that too. Over here on your iTunes, you may notice a prompt asking you to allow this connection, please tap on Continue. If you're connecting for the first time, you might get this welcome screen, choose Continue. Please select Get Started. If you want to encrypt your iPhone contents on this PC, please select the Encrypt Backups option and create a new password. Make sure to remember this password as it's required to access your backups later. This is just the iTunes Media Backup, particularly don't confuse this with the actual iPhone Backup, we'll be doing a complete iPhone Backup shortly. Once this initial syncing is over, please tap on Get Started again. You'll land on this screen. For others who are probably not connecting for the first time, you just need to select this little iPhone icon and the Summary option to reach this screen. Over here tap on Backup Now. This is now backing up the complete iPhone to this PC. As it says here, my iPhone was last backed up to iCloud yesterday, but with limited data and apps. Let's select this computer to check the complete iPhone backup status. This is right, my iPhone has never been backed up to this computer. But we have already initiated it, we should now wait for the backup to complete. You should also make sure you have enough space on your C drive to store this backup. The time it takes will depend on the size of your data, so please be patient. In the end, you should get this confirmation. You can also verify your backups by selecting Edit, Preferences, and Devices. The backups are usually stored in one of these locations. But since we have encrypted, we'll not be able to view the actual file contents. Step 2. Factory Reset iPhone. Please open the Settings app. Go to General. Scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Select Erase All Content and Settings. In case you have an eSIM, no worries, you will get an option to retain or remove, just before the actual reset process starts. Please select Continue. Since we have backed up to PC, you can either choose Erase Anyway or Skip Backup. Please enter your Apple ID password. This is the final screen, where you should select the appropriate option for your eSIM. Let me select Erase Data and keep eSIM. This process may take a while, so kindly exercise patience. Ultimately, your device will return to the initial setup screen for the iPhone. Step 3. Restore iPhone from Backup. While your iPhone is on the initial setup screen, you should notice Restore from this backup option on your iTunes. Please double check that the right backup was selected over here and tap on Continue. Enter your encryption password. The restore process has started, and it's going to take some time based on the size of your data. Once done, you'll see a confirmation on your iPhone. 
You might need to redo the face ID and passcode. Also, you'll need to enter your Apple ID password. That's all, you're back on your iPhone. The app installation process may take some time, let's give it some time and come back. As you can see, I got all my apps and data back. I hope it was helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another helpful video.